Hi boys and girls, Alex here again. I needed to do some uh, thin sanding and realised that the sandpaper on the drum sander was not the right grit and I didn't have any new ones. So I thought this would be the ideal opportunity to show you how, to, how I use my uh, sandpaper cutting jig. Let's try and track it down. It's down here in this cabinet. Oh, how does it work? They are tucked away in there. I'll go and dig it out and uh, unpack it for you. What I wanted was 80 grit and as you can see I didn't have any. Well, not quite true. I did have some. I've got some 80 grit here. But that's, not going, that's not going to fit onto my drum sander so I'd better chop it up. Okay, here we have the picture of the jig. As you can see it's all wrapped up and tucked away neatly and as you will notice that unfortunately this jig needs a table saw to operate well not to operate but at least you need a table to, saw to rest it on unless you want to rest it on the ground and bend over like crazy and you'll find that I do make use of this extendable outfeed table uh, to do it so I shall unpack it and continue from there Okay, I'm already struggling with the unpacking as you'll probably notice that if I put it in the way the hinges unfold it's going to unpack upside down with the working end so we have to flip it upside down. Now you'll see why I need a table saw to operate it. There you have it fully, ex fully extended as you can see it uh, goes on for miles and miles. Uh, unfortunately it's a long length of uh, sandpaper and therefore you need a long track. Now let me show you how it operates. Okay let's hope I can get this right the first time. I've actually lined up the bit of sandpaper here. This comes open, it's held together by some magnets so it doesn't flop around everywhere. So I said I've lined it up. This paper has been cut from, well, his leftovers you can see has been cut with the previous time. So you put it into place to make sure it lines up like I mean, as I said, it had been cut from the other one. That flips into place. Now, what I tend to do is I clamp that together. Um, like so love these quick quick grip clamps and then I roll it out to the other end now I'll try and get the camera into view so you can see the rolling out of the thing however make sure you don't let it go you go with it otherwise it'll roll off the table and it'll take you three hours to pick it up. Oops. As you can see it has a mind of its own. When we get there I'll now stop and move the camera. Okay let's roll out the rest of the jig. First of all open up the magnet holding that there. Roll that out and You'll notice one of the more critical parts of this jig is this piece of wood. If you sit under there to stop this little sucker from rolling off the table and creating such a mess that you'll never be able to pick up. The jig then closes. You probably won't be able to see it because that's in the way. I'll roll it there but as you can see it's already getting out of the way. So what I will do to make things easier is get a standing knife and cut that off so you get a clear view from there. Now, at the moment you'll find that this is the uh, cut to it and then all it is is just a matter of running the standing knife along there, the other end You've got that, there you are, it's cut 
to the exact shape you want and the length. I'll leave that closed there. I'll go and do the same thing on the other end. I don't think you need me to repeat that. And for all you cheapskates, you might be able to use that somewhere in detail sanding or whatever. I usually throw it out, but hey, you never know. Right, and here we are back with the mess, as you can see, ready to be put on. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll actually put this on just for the hell of it, just to show you how it's done. Oops, probably getting out of here. Nothing great or important about it, other than it's going to be a hassle to fold up the jig. Um, look, are we in full view? No, we're not. I'll probably show you. It's a pain in the bum to fold it up, zoom out, and you'll see what I mean. But, nevertheless, it becomes quite neat. Here we go. That clamp just held it on to here to stop it from flipping over like that. The magnets hold it in place. That goes under there. Magnet holds it in place. That goes under there. Those are up. Here of Velcro. And Bob, your uncle, ready to be packed away. Can you see it? Yep, ready to be packed away. That's it. Okay, now I'll move over to the drum sander. Okay, a bare drum, new piece of paper, and frustration about to come as all you drum sander owners already know. Flip the little lever, plug that in, no big brainstorming or no real deal there. And then you start rolling the paper on. Make sure you line this up. It doesn't have to be flush up against it, in fact it's better if it's not. Um, because if it's dead flush, you, it won't actually reach the end. Or tuck in neatly at the end. So I found that a couple of mil either side like that, but you've then got to keep the tension going. Here we go. Now, this is the tricky part. Now everybody has trouble, even I have. They've got this little gizmo here that's supposed to make life easier. Um, I've never really been able to work out exactly how to use it, um, so I don't. I flip in there lift the lever and as long as you line it up the right way most people tend to line it up the wrong way if you line it up and you actually feel when you release the lever that is starting to pull on that there you have what I classify as a perfectly mounted belt or as close to perfect as you find once you start that out try it out um, we'll see hang on I'll get a piece of wood and we'll put it through okay guys a bit of wood got just uh, just going to clean this up a bit to use in a project open the blast gate make sure the blast gates and all the other equipment are closed otherwise the suction is going to be well it's going to suck as in not suck but suck turn on the conveyor belt now this is going to get noisy flip on the thing and feed the stuff through it's got a very light setting, so you're not going to get past the first part. Now let's give it a full feed. Um, and it would have been nice if I turned the dust extraction on. Uh, I did it now, but that's not going to help. Uh, all right. Uh, turn that back off again, and I shall bid you adieu. Goodbye till next time. Just bloody clean up with the handheld stuff now, Jay. Anyway, 
as I said, goodbye. And of course to finish it off, putting the beast to rest, fits back into his little cubby hole. Now, for all it's worth, all this can be done without the jig. But as your missus can attest when she struggles up the stairs with that recalcitrant vacuum cleaner, cutting big rolls of sandpaper is not an easy job without a jig. We'll buy again.